Oh, ah, that's the light. I don't have editing software, fuck you. Uh, hello, and welcome. Um, this is for Cinema 52. I am going to watch Top Gun every week for a year and see how it affects my thinking chunks. Um, and so, uh, it's the end of January. We're one month down. I have seen it one, two, three, four times. Thank you, Kirk. Um, here's what I remember. Here we go. All right. It opens with on-screen text. Uh, something, 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 lost art of aerial combat. Uh, fighter weapon school, they call it Top Gun. Uh, Top Gun Anthem starts, uh, that's the hair ballad one. Um, aircraft carrier, bunch of shots, looking really cool, slow motion. Ooh, everybody takes off. Um, then it's Highway to the Danger Zone, uh, excuse me, Danger Zone uh, by Kenny Loggins. Still more footage. Uh, that's when we see a guy walking through the aircraft carrier. Indian Ocean, present day, is on the bottom of the screen. Uh, it is the USS Enterprise, actually. Um, so the first line of the movie is Good Morning Scott. Then we see Stinger, uh, James Tolkien, with a cigar. Uh, up in the air is Cougar, played by some dude, Merlin, played by Tim Robbins. In the other plane, we have Maverick, played by Tom Cruise, and Goose, played by Anthony Edwards. Um, they're flying. Maverick's first line is, talk to me, Goose. That comes in handy later. Uh, Stingers all uh, don't fire unless fired upon because they've just spotted a MiG. Uh, the MiG freaks out Cougar a little bit, uh, he's following him, uh, Maverick says something about he would have fired by now, he's just trying to piss us off, um, swoops in, does the inverted dive, so they're upside down above him, uh, he flips him off, and Anthony Edwards takes a shot, he says I should be a photographer, uh, then Cougar's face gets really sweaty, he's looking at a picture of his wife and kid in the cockpit, uh, Merlin says that MiG really screwed him up. Um, they order Maverick to land. Maverick does not. Uh, there's something about, you don't own that plane, the taxpayers do. Uh, he comes up beside Cougar. He says, any of you boys seen an aircraft carrier around here? Cougar's all, yeah. and he's got a sweaty face. <sighs> he's just really sweaty. Um, helps him land. Um, then Cougar leaves uh, Stinger's office. <sighs> okay. Uh, Maverick and Goose go in, and Stinger's all ah, da, 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 da. Your kids, uh, your ego's writing checks, your body can't cash. Um, you violated four things and an admiral's daughter, Penny Benjamin, says Goose. Um, oh yeah, uh, Cougar handed in his wings earlier, so because of that, now you two get to go to Top Gun! Uh, Kenny Loggins fades back in for the second time. Um, if you screw up, you're gonna be flying a... Cargo plane full of rubber dog shit out of Hong Kong. Brr. Smash 2, Fighter Town, USA. I don't remember where it is. That'll change in a year. Uh, Tom Cruise, this is a fist pump. Um, like a jackass. Uh, okay, after that, um, you see uh, Tom Skerritt, who plays Viper. And he's showing them footage of planes. And one guy goes, this gives me a hard on. And the other guy says, don't tease me. And we all pretend like that's normal. Uh, Iceman, played by Val Kilmer, is there. Everybody has their arm around each other. Subtext, subtext, subtext. Um, Maverick is all, bleh, I'm the best. Oh, sorry, Viper's pacing the aisle, and he says, you know, we don't make policy. We're the instruments of that policy. Uh, he says, do you think you're the best, Maverick? Maverick says, well, yes, sir, need I do. Um, Viper says, you're arrogant. Everybody goes, ooh, and then he goes, I like that in a pilot. Um... Iceman makes a lame joke about how they're not going to get on the Top Gun plaque. Um, the alternates are in the ladies' room. Goose goes, ah Because that's how he laughs. Uh, he makes a joke about there's two O's in Goose. I remembered that. Uh, it's Animal Night at the Club. Miami Sound Machine has a hot lady's leg. They pan up it, and she's a butterface. Um, Maverick says something about living his life between his legs. Goose says something about he's just looking for a woman to talk dirty to him for tonight. I think this is when they spot Charlie. Uh, somebody says something about a long and distinguished career. Slider says something just like Mike Johnson. Yes, he has a distinguished penis. Um, Iceman comes up, he gets way too close in Maverick's face and it pisses me off. Uh, he says something about Cougar in the past tense. He says, don't you mean he's a great man? Oh, that's what I meant, blah, 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 blah. Spots Charlie, Charlie McGillis, uh, hanging out with an older guy who, fun fact, I think is uh, actually the guy that did all the choreography for the flying. Um, oh, God, 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 come on, I gotta think faster. Maverick, 
Uh, oh, Maverick and Goose, make the bet. Uh, the bet is $20, carnal knowledge, on the premises, with a lady this time, subtext. Um, so he says, looks like she's lost a love and feeling. They say the title of the song like six damn times. He picks up the microphone. Uh, excuse me, is this man bothering you? And then their glasses fall off. I'm sorry. I get really into Top Gun. Um, so they sing You've Lost That Love and Feeling. But -um. And then she goes, I love that song. Sit on down. And she acts like kind of fake impressed. I still find out later. Uh, okay, then he goes into the bathroom with her. Uh, she says, you want to drop down on the tile? He says, I have this counter in mind. Uh, he says, I think you're making a mistake with that older guy. She says, so I can make one with a younger guy like you. She leaves, she passes Goose, she says, your friend was incredible, Goose goes, what, no? Then, next day, uh, we meet Michael Ironside, the most badass man on the face of the planet. He is playing Jester, I think? He's got, like, a skull on his helmet, I think? I don't know why. Uh, okay, and then, surprise, Charlie uh, actually turns out to be the astrophysicist civilian liaison, do not salute her, to the Top Gun people. Folks, she walks down the aisle. Maverick's all, oh, yeesh. Um, she starts talking about planes, which ones are good and stuff. And Maverick goes, oh, I've been up against the MiG. And Iceman goes, oh, shit. And uh, then Maverick says, I tell you, but I'd have to kill you. Those are two stupid, shitty jokes we all thought were great in elementary school. Um, and Charlie's all, what? And then he's all, yeah, I was in an inverted dive. Uh, this is when I got a picture. Uh, she says, what were you doing? Uh, establishing foreign relations, giving him the finger. Goose says, you know the finger. I know what the finger is, Goose. Um, cut to a hallway where he tries to find out if she thinks he's an asshole. Um, then we have our first flight training scene, I think. They're in the air, they're flying with Michael Ironside, most badass man alive, and uh, ju -ju -ju -ju, they're firing and shooting and stuff. Um, it's just Maverick and Goose, I think. Um, they fire at him, but they, somebody says too close for missiles, missiles, I'm switching to guns. That line comes up twice. Um, okay, they shoot him below the hard deck. I don't know my aviation terminology, but apparently that doesn't count. Um, then they say, you know, can we buzz the tower? Permission denied. Oh, Goose, it's time to buzz the tower. Yay, print the t-shirts. And then, uh, Air Boss Johnson spills uh, coffee all over himself. Um, screams about, uh, I want somebody's butt wrist. Then a little guy in a sailor suit who's the funniest part of this whole movie comes by and knocks over a tray of coffee and Air Boss Johnson screams, I want some butts! Um, at this point I'm laughing too hard to remember anything. Um, but I think, uh, I think they have a conversation in the little office, uh, Viper and Jester, and oh, that boy's trouble the winds of change, whatever the fuck. Um, oh my god, after that, okay, after that. Does Meg Ryan show up? Meg Ryan is hot in this movie, you guys. She turned bad fast. I don't even like sleepless era Meg Ryan. Um, but, man, she's hot in this. Um, but does she show up next? I don't know. Let's just keep rolling right along here. Uh, I think Mav goes over to Charlie's house. Yes, Mav goes over to Charlie's house, tries to get with her, I think, yes, uh, goes over, asks if he can take a shower, she says no, she puts on sitting by the dock of the bay, uh, he talks about his father, because we find out his father was a pilot, oh shit, I think earlier he and Goose talk about it, he clicks a pen, um, his father was a pilot, he's gotta live up to that, Goose said it's like you're flying against a ghost up there, Oh, you think they're gonna do it, they don't do it, um, she lays there all, bang, I wanted to bang him, um, then I think Meg Ryan shows up, looking super hot. Woo! She's Goose's wife. Um, she brings their kid. Hooray, it's a good time, I think. Um, there's another aerial battle. Oh, no, sorry, there's a locker room scene. Iceman is all hard deck doesn't count. Tom Cruise says hard deck my ass. Subtext. Uh, guys, this movie is hard to remember. Um, then... Okay, I'm throwing a mishmash. I, I don't remember the middle very solidly. There's volleyball! Woo! Kenny Loggins playing with the boys. It adds nothing to the scene whatsoever. Um, it's man candy. It's man candy. Whatever, there's plain candy. There's no, nothing wrong with plain candy. Uh, 
Maverick and Charlie have sex. I'm coming to that, but I don't know where it fits in with Goose's wife. Um, I think um, the next day she's in an elevator. She's wearing a man hat, and Tom's all, I like it now. See the film Sleep With Me. Um, then, uh, oh God. They have a performance review, and Maverick's maneuver was deemed risky, but at the time, brilliant, gutsiest move I ever saw, says some guy over his shoulder. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying. What happens next? Oh, he gets on his bike, he revs the engine, she can't hear him, oh, he can't hear her, uh, he drives off, she has an angry passion drive, oh my god, yes. Uh, she gets in her bitchin' car, follows him, um, he gets out, and he's all, you call me reckless, and she's all, I think you're a brilliant pilot, but I can't say because I'm your disruptor, and they make out, and it's really silhouetted and creepy as shit. Goose dies after that, I know that for a fact, because the Bible taught me sex kills people, that's why I remember. Um, uh, I'm kidding about the Bible stuff, I'm over it. Um, so, then, Goose dies. Oh, spoiler alert, Goose dies. Um... They're in the plane. Um, they're doing a training thing. Iceman sucks. Um, he can't get the shot. He can't shoot. What's his face? He just can't do it. Can't shoot him. Um, he's like, I need 20 more seconds. Give me 10 more seconds. Oh, I just need more seconds. Um, and Maverick is like, get the fuck out of the way. I can I can get this guy. Um, so he pulls up at the last second. They get caught in the jet wash. They spin out. Uh, Mav can't reach eject. Um, Goose pulls it right into the canopy. Cracks his little skullsy open. Um, falls in the water, there's this green trail of chemical, because I guess that's what they do, so, uh, helicopters can find them. Uh, Goose is dead. This is why the movie really speeds up in my mind. Um, Goose is dead. It sucks. We liked him, I guess. Uh, uh, Maverick is, like, really broken up about it, and he, um, uh, he has, like, a court case he has to stand before a board, and... They, they, they tell him he's not going to have his flight status revoked. Their findings are it was not his fault. He's all broken up over it. He goes to the bar where he's drinking ice water. Uh, Charlie shows up, calls him Pete Mitchell. His name, not his call sign. Doesn't call him Maverick. Uh, tries to get him into that, like, you know, you're a fighter pilot, man. God damn it, you belong in a plane. Um, he goes and sees, no... This comes the other way. Um, there was a great balls of fire scene with Goose when he was alive, obviously, because I'm out of order here and I suck at this. Um, yeah, uh, Goose's wife, Meg Ryan, hot Meg Ryan, is crying, and he loved flying with you, Maverick. Um, he's all sad for a while. Charlie almost fixes him and says, you got to get back in the air, but the one who really fixes him is Viper, who tells him a story about his dad. His dad was fighting in the war, and a whole sky was little black fireflies, and the government had to deny any knowledge of his actions, so your daddy was a hero, but you didn't know it, yeah, bro, get in the air. Uh, he, uh, before this, he, he does another training scenario, he gets mad at his uh, co-pilot sundown, he like, roughs him up. Um, but no, now he's ready. Tom Skerritt gives him the big speech, Viper gives him the big speech, He's ready to fly! Blah. Uh, they have the Top Gun ceremony. Maverick does not win. Iceman is holding the trophy. I don't know if they ever actually say that he won, uh, strangely enough. I just know he's holding the trophy. Um, all of a sudden, they get special letters that say, Oh, MiGs, World War III, gotta go, gotta go! So they get back on the aircraft carrier, the USS Enterprise. Stinger is back Arf, with his cigar, so the movie's awesome again. And he has to go up and fly, and there's like five MiGs, and boop, 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 they shoot them all, and then at one point he like Obi-Wan Kenobi's the shit out of everything, he holds up Goose's dog tags, and he says, talk to me, Goose, um, and everybody's screaming in the background, like, oh, man, what the fuck are you doing? And then he's, and he like, you know, channels Goose, um, boom, 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 kills all the MiGs, hooray, he's the best. Uh, they land... Um, oh fuck. Earlier, Iceman was all, do you think it's safe to have Maverick up there? And, uh, James Tolkien was like, ah, slacker, I have a cigar. And so they let him go up. Um, but now they come back down, they land, they have the big, iconic, super awesome scene where it's all, oh, you can be my wingman any day. Oh, bullshit, you can be mine. Ha-cha-cha. <laughs> um, 
Then, the movie's almost over. Maverick goes to the locker room and Stinger says that the government is going to deny your actions and this never happened. Just like what happened to his papa. Um, then he hucks Goose's dog tags off the back of the aircraft carrier. Hope Meg Ryan didn't want those. Um, then he... Oh, sorry. I keep... Oh. James Tolkien, Stinger, argh, asks him if he wants to go... Uh, what he wants to do with his career now, and he wants to be an instructor at Top Gun School, um, which he does. He goes back to Fighter Town, USA. He goes to the bar. Somebody puts on, you've lost that love and feeling. Charlie's there. They hug or kiss or have creepy tongues. They kiss really weird guys. And then, just to be dicks, the credits cut to Goose first. And you cry. You cry a little. I really do. I hate when they do it every time. Because, like, I forget Goose was even in the movie for a little while, and then they slam you with that. Um, Mighty Wings by Cheap Trick Plays. It is a terrible song. The credits come up. You get to learn the names of the actual fighter pilots who did all the flying in this. And I tell you that the whole thing was based on a magazine article in California Magazine. <sighs> okay. That's what I remember about Top Gun. There are a lot of holes. I am remembering the beginning and the end, and the middle is sort of fuzzy. Um, that's it. This is month one for Cinema 52, which if you're just, you know, finding this on YouTube, cinema52.com. Is that framed up? Probably not. But go there, and you'll get to see how crazy all of us are going. I'm watching Top Gun every week for a year. Can you see that? Uh, my colleagues are watching Spider-Man 3, The Truman Show, and High Fidelity. So uh, see if that makes us go insane or whatever. And uh, have a good day. I don't have editors, so see you later.